Hey you guys, it's Mr. Sal. We got another problem. Trim costs $1.25 per inch. You have a room that is 38 feet long by 116 feet wide. How much will it cost to purchase the trim for the room? So for some of us it may be easier to change this, the cost. I, by the way, I don't know how reasonable this is either. It's just a problem that I made up, okay? Uh, but if we can figure out how much it is per foot, we can compare feet to feet here. Um, so, to do that, we've got $1.25 times 12. Uh, to do dimensional analysis, this would be, it would look something like this. So I multiply 12 inches by 1 foot, and we can see then that the inches cancel out. So what is 125 times 12? Well, that gives me a rate of $15 per foot. So if I can figure out how many feet I need for the trim on this room, then I should be in good shape. Now, the trim is just going to go along the outside of the room. So uh, if I can figure out the perimeter, then we're in good shape. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a picture of this. Now, the only reason I draw a picture is to help us visualize this. It doesn't have to be proportional. I just need to see something that I can associate the values with. Now since we're looking for a perimeter, I am going to label all four sides like this. So how do I find the perimeter of this rectangular room? Well, I'm just going to add all the sides together. Now you guys may do this a little bit differently, of course. You can multiply the two sides by two since we have two of the same. I don't mind just adding these together. So 6 plus 8 plus 6 plus 8 would give me 28 and I carry the 2. 2 plus 1 plus 3 plus 1 plus 3 would be 10 and I carry the 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 gives me 3. So it looks like I'm going to need this much trim. So I, I have the amount of trim that I need. Of course this doesn't include um, mistakes that we may make or overlapping that may occur but uh, I know how much it costs per foot so I'm just going to take that 308 and multiply it by 15 because it's $15 per foot. So, uh, and if this was dimensional analysis, it would cancel out the feet. So, so I've done the work there from the multiplication of 308 times 15, and I get 4,620, and we should label this in dollars. So that's how much it would cost to purchase the trim for this room. Uh, again, this is just all made up. I'm sure it's a lot cheaper than that to purchase trim for a room, I, but I could be wrong. I'm not very experienced with that stuff.